I was at a boat show a few weeks back and I heard a salesman telling some guy that the boat that he was selling was better than the others because it was vacuum bagged. Well, the guy said, what does that mean? And the salesman said, well, it means our boats are lighter and stronger. It sounded like marketing talk and the guy just shrugged it off. That's a shame because you know what? The salesman was right. To understand why, you need to understand a little bit about traditional fiberglass layup. You start with a piece of fiberglass cloth, sort of like this. It gets wetted with resin. I'm just going to use water right here and right now, like that. And when the resin dries, it becomes a hard piece of fiberglass. That's sort of like when this cloth dries out, it'll become stiff. Here's the thing. The resin gives plenty of stiffness, but not strength. That comes from the fiberglass itself. So once the fiberglass is wetted with resin, any excess resin that remains behind, that just adds weight, not strength. Traditionally, boat builders have dealt with this by manually removing the excess resin. They might use a roller or a squeegee and squeeze that extra resin out. It works, but not 100%. With vacuum bagging, the entire piece of fiberglass gets wrapped in plastic. Then all the air gets sucked out under pressure and all the extra resin gets squeezed out. Kind of like that. See how that extra resin got squeezed out away from the fiberglass. Okay, that's a pretty rudimentary demonstration there, but you get the message. The net result from vacuum bagging is a piece of fiberglass that's as light as possible without giving up one iota of strength.